here at Daniel Anderson Stadium. Round 25 of the NRL is underway and it's going to be the Warriors with the first possession. And a good chase by Manly. Oh, straight away, Bunty Afar puts it down. Unforced error, love 15. Well, that's not a start you want at home. You've got all the emotion, you come out, you're playing for so much. An origin type atmosphere out there, but that is deflating from a hometown point of view. Well, Bunty Afar was playing New South Wales Cup last week. Didn't make the NRL side back in there this evening with Mitch Barnett injured, of course. And now what an op attacking opportunity here for Manly early in this contest. There's Cherry Evans, now Morgan Harper. Wakato Lad, of course, back in the lineup. For just the seventh game of the season, Jason Saab waits at dummy half. Now, Cherry Evans, that's Croker, flicking it back to Sipley. Well, for Fire Sipley, who started his NRL career at the Warriors. Into the 10 he goes. Croker at dummy half. Jerry Evans. Good shape here for Manly. Olakatao is taken and driven back. Don't see that too often. Now, Jerry Evans again. Here he is handling again. Back on the inside comes Olakawa to. Croker at dummy half. Now, Jake Trebojevic. Almost through there is Jake Arthur. He is there. Jake Arthur. <laughs> replays the confidence that Anthony Seabold put in him. Promoting him into the starting lineup, and it's 4 0 to the Sea Eagles. Well, Manly, they've been perfect. Jake Arthur come from the bench to start the game. He goes to the line, deep in the line. In fact, beats two players. Would be tackled there from Manifanua Blake, and he reaches out. I didn't think it was going to have enough to get across the line, but it was a shape, a little pump there. Goes through a number of defenders, and the bump off of Charles Nickel Crookstar. Gets that one down, honey. That's oh, a beautiful opening step from Manly, and we know that they are desperate for a win tonight, and they have come here on fire. Oh, there is the try, Jake Arthur, who debuted against the Warriors for the Eels back in 2021, had a ripper that night. Third start since moving to Manly mid-season, and now Ruben Garrick. He's been kicking at 77% this season. Garrett just sneaks that one home. It's six points to nil. Perfect start. And not a great start for Bunty R4. Dropping the ball and already on report in the first three minutes. So late tackle is the ruling there. Look here, ball's gone. You've got Bunty still coming over. It wasn't high, but it was late. And we know that when you pass the ball, the welfare of the passing half has to be paramount. Can't be doing that. Warriors chance to strike back. Perfect start from the Sea Eagles. Well, we saw a number of slow starts to the Warriors early in the season, didn't we? And we recall those days. They feel like a long time ago now. Well, we think back to those games, and they came back from some pretty ugly situations. Let's see what they can do here. The Warriors is our fours in there. Olakawatu. On the 20, Jake Trebojevic, and now Manly spreading it early in the count, and this is Garrick from fullback, Croker again, and now Sean Kepi, he's on the 40, look at that ruck speed, it's outstanding, Croker up to the halfway line, Warriors other than that drop ball have had no position at all in these first four minutes, Jerry Evans with the kick, looking Comfortable under that one is Marcelo Montoya. The Warriors starting their set 15 metres out. Yeah, two carries in four and a half minutes. It's, it's not on. It's not you want to, what you want to be doing at home. It's one thing to have that motion behind you and the crowd support, but you need to play smart. You need to play with that ball in hand. Oh, good 
great shot there on Rocco Berry. That was a cracking tackle, and it's Arthur again, who has pumped up. Been brilliant. Scored a try. Defensively sound as well. When you score a try, it gives you that extra bit of emphasis. Push. Well, Rocco Berry's not a small man either now. Adam Fenua Blake. Up towards the halfway line he goes. <laughs> Wade Egan gives it to Metcalf with the kick. Trying to get it behind Saab and in between him and Ruben Garrick. Saab, of course, has got plenty of speed. It's a great kick, good chase as well. What gets this crowd behind you. Merlin's come out of their own end. Harper taking a, a tough carry now. Just manages to hang on to the ball there. Some severe defensive pressure coming from Ford and from Egan. Tua Imalo Vainga. Great story this lad, playing for Akarana just prior to COVID as a young lad before he nipped over to Manly. Playing in his fifth game of NRL football today. He'll have some fun in the crowd tonight. Again, the ruck speed looking good here for the Sea Eagles, Monty. Oh, that's impressive. Cherry Evans inside the 40. That's straight down the throat there of Charles Nickel Quickstart. As a result of the ruck speed, you take your time, you set up the kick very well, and the chase is just as important. Manly really have got their foot on the throat here. This Warriors side still have yet to get out of their half. There's an offload from Watani Zalesniak, and Marcelo Montoya is the beneficiary, but all over him. Zolokawatu and Morgan Harper. Another carry from Watani Zalesniak. Short Kepi with the initial contact and a chance to look at Top, get up! Warriors need to get to their kick here. Harris takes the next carry. Got that left knee heavily strapped again. Tohu Harris. Here's the last. Johnson. Seen nothing of Sean Johnson so far other than that kick. Oh! Player taken out there. Rocco Berry. And referee has got the call and it's a penalty. There's a late call. The crowd love it. That's what you do when you're at home. You really got to get on the referee. Been good to start the game so far. The kick was nice and high. Rocco Berry, who was seen, was hit earlier on. It was the escort. That man, Arthur, he sure had a presence already in this game. He's had a couple of big plays and now it's a penalty against. Oh, that was fairly blatant, that one, wasn't it? So a big chance for the Warriors to strike back now in the first seven minutes. A four. He'd be very keen to make up for that error. Which the Warriors couldn't defend. Here's Adam Fenor Blake. A restart a tackle count now for the Warriors. Crowd. And getting into it now as Johnson flicks it back on the inside. New caught it. Short clearing. His face. Oh. Egan waits a dummy half. Harris. Johnson. Quick hands. Love that. Here goes Metcalf. Metcalf. Well, that's a try saving tackle right there. Half a meter out. He had men unmarked outside him. Luke Metcalf. Warriors will keep their composure here. Here's Harris. 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 The equaliser. Well, you said here's Harris. He was there for everyone to be seen, but they couldn't stop the big man. All six foot five of them and the hair bun. <laughs> Brilliant stuff from the captain. Straight through the middle. They had a plenty of shape. They went left. They went right. They came back to Tohu Harris after they'd gone down the left side here. It was Metcalf having a go, having a snipe himself. But then as the man comes on the backdoor play, shows early to Bunty. Takes a few over the line too, honey. Oh, he's looking at his third try of the season. And how good for the captain to roll his sleeves up after a shaky start from the Warriors. They give the ball to me, I'll get the job done. He does that exactly. Or has he? Yeah, climb the wall, fellas. Torhu Harris. So, not only, honey, he was that his third try of the season, it's his third try in succession, he's got them all in the last three games, and that's his 30th career try. A pretty comfortable conversion attempt coming up here for Pompey. Johnson is happy to hand over the kicking duties to Adam Pompey, at least initially in this game. So six all it is, and Harris scoring the try.
He had a bit of work to do here, Monty. He sure did. Just showing the ability that he has. He is not the noted number 13 that we've seen over the years. Traditional 13 like the Michael Lux, the Kevin Campions. He's got the X Factor. He's got the hard work. He's got the grind. He's got it all, really. And he leads the way with the great try by hitting back for his side. Ah, he only got it just down there on that first attempt, but that's all you need. Just a bit of grass under the ball is always nice. Good response by the Warriors too, it must be said. Here's our four. Throwing himself into the line. They needed to bounce back, hit back, didn't they? Nikori takes the next carry. Wide of the ruck goes for Noel Blake. Here goes Metcalf. Now Pompey running at Harper. Running over Harper. Well, it's exciting play, isn't it? Metcalf. Pitches another 15 from Dummy Half. Egan, big. Numbers out to the open side, but Harris just takes the settler. And he'll play it for the last here. Good return of the football here. 70 metres. Down to the 30, and now Johnson can measure this kick. Ratanisa Lesniak. And it's been gathered eventually there by Manley. I think it was Arthur initially, and here comes Carrick. Ooh, he might need a nice buck, a bucket after that one. Oh, it's a big shot, and he's standing over him. Jackson Ford, Manley come out of their end now. Olukawatu, big ball carrier. A number of athletes. There's Sipley, one of his brothers, Pat, in the stands tonight. Pat Sipley playing for Point Chev, of course. Here's Kepi. And now Krokar rolls over that one, and there's a, a basic mistake there. That's disappointing for Manley. Harris picks up the dregs. It's a real shame for Manley. Really are controlling the ruck speed throughout this uh, first 11 minutes, but that time, not keeping on the ball, ball going to ground. Now the Warriors have a chance here. Execute this set, the they'll be able to put an attacking tick down. It was Garrick with the lost ball, and now our four. Top and short, get out! Hold your block with Jace, Jace! 20 metres out. Harris again. Johnson. Nickel quick start. Barry, great hands! What an easy lift there! Oh yeah, he's done it again! Was there any doubt that he wouldn't? He's an absolute fan favourite, and when you're in try scoring form like that, with the locks as added extras, why wouldn't you be? What a fight of the spider one man right there. They're happy to applaud the man. It was a wonderful try. Some beautiful shape across the paddock. Once again, off to Harris, come back door twice. Chance goes to the line. It was a tip on from Rocco Berry. And he does what he does best, which is score in the corner in emphatic style, honey. This is exactly what they've been practicing on the training field. You can see already the impact of having chance to put Cooks are back in this left edge. And what we see week in and week out is the flying locks of Dylan Wartenek Zelizniak. It's beautiful to watch, isn't it? Uh, great skill there from Rocco Berry. He's growing with every game. Uh, yeah, try or confirm for Dylan Wartenek Zelizniak. Another one in what has been a landmark season for him. And now he's just two behind Alex Johnston. I think 23 is the most in a season for the Warriors. Well, that's going to be under threat, isn't it? For Sitoa. And also Francis Malu is here for the old boys as well. It's just how he scores them as well. Spectacular. And don't forget, he had a number of games he was off this year. But this comes down to the mistake from the Sea Eagles. They're looking good with the ball in hand. Their ruck speed is on for them. But not enough to stop the dangerous Warriors try zone. <laughs> well, great response by the Warriors after that early concession of that try to Jake Arthur. Now, Pompey, difficult conversion attempt for him. And just slides it. Ten points to six. Tries to Harris. Watanez Lesniak up the wires. Couldn't have said it better myself. Very 
clever fans these days, don't they, with the signs. Well, we've got all week to think about it. Monty, I bet you there's a few discussions, a few court going around the place trying to figure things out. And you're right. And here comes our four. Once again, and Kepi gets the shoulder, and that's a good shot there from Sean Kepi. Number, number of them in, making a stop, he come off the back fence, but he's met by a manly defence that was just as strong as this as well. Adam for North Blake. A little bit of concern after hobbling last week. That's a fantastic short ball from Harris to Ford there. Egan. Go well, Wade Egan back to his best because uh, the Warriors won basically without a recognized dummy half last week. Bad effort in hindsight by Bailey Surin and Metcalf with the kick this time. That's straight down Jason Saab's throat. Metcalf was backwards. Good to see Metcalf kicking a bit more, Monty, down that left side. And this is ambitious play by. Manly, Kola, it is. Oh, he's strong. What an athlete we know. He's a, an ex-sprint champ. A lot he can't do, very explosive. Duilangi, it is, on the 40. Broker out to Jake Trebojevic. Now Shkepi, who's been very active early in this game. Now the number of players out. He's, uh, opportunities have got to be taken by other players. For the Sea Eagles tonight. Here's Jake Trebojevic. Jerry Evans keeps that one. And the grass. And the quick start. Again, a fantastic chase there. Oh, by Jerry Evans. Jerry Evans and Olakawatu. He really knows how to boss a game. He's gone up another levels later in his career. We've seen that in Origin. Knows to get his team around the paddock and also be the one to lead and be up front when it matters most defensively. Montoya with the next carry. Good tackle by Duilangi. And now you caught he ran onto that one really well, and he's earned his team a penalty right there. Well, it's a quick play of the ball. The strong carry from near caught him. The defense has been just as tough as well, meeting them at the collision line. The strong carry. Again, a little bit too much, the speed. Oh, these penalties late in the count are hurting Manly at the moment, honey, aren't they? Well, they sure are, and you can see the Warriors working really hard at the yard to set, working their way up the field and getting to the kick. Playing good, clean football at the moment. Yeah, you're spot on there. Again, they just do everything so well, don't they? Everything is methodically planned out and executed. The feature of their performances this year. Egan. Johnson. Back on the inside, Jackson Ford. Can move now! Hold here! Wait! Egan. Here's Dylan Walker who's into the game. Johnson eludes that tackler. Now Watton is a Lesniak. <laughs> Back goes Arthur. Oh, no way! Stop it! Well, sometimes... Traffic jams can be busted, and Dallin's done it right there. Just when you thought that he had only scores tries in the corner, he comes through the middle very much like a Jonah Lomu. With a lot more hair on his head, an emphatic style coming through. You see the flying defense, he catches on the outside. Rockerberry comes around, which gives him the opportunity to show to him the bump, the evasion, the foot speed. Terrific stuff, Hunter hit me, Smiler. Oh, what can this man not do? This is now 20 tries of the season. The only other player to score six tries in six games, and he scored seven and six. Try confirmed. Dylan Watson is loose next. Take your head off there. Wow, that was amazing. Even after bumping off Arthur, he's still that last little footwork right there, that little step off the right foot. That was the one that sealed it, Monty. Well, he's only used to having a little bit of a corner at the end of the field where he can show his magic. That time he had so much room to move, he had so many defenders to beat, and he did it with ease. What a season he's having. Yep. I don't think we need to interpret those words. 
comfy. He converts the try, must be set to. That's the Warriors scoring off the back of another penalty. They've done that twice in the game now. The two penalties they've got, they've both scored from. Yeah, like you said, late in the sets to those penalties, we know that when the Smelly team does have their ball in hand, they're winning the right speed, they're getting down the end of the field easily. You know, they did look like they were threatening down the other end in the, in the 20 metre zone. So, Smelly just need their hands on the ball. Position is always key. Well, he didn't score in the corner dairy that time. Move. More through the middle of the mall, that one. And there's a clever kickoff. Clever kickoff. Good option there by Manley. And there's a penalty very in front of that error from New Courtney. That's ambitious play. And sometimes you've just got to try something, don't you? Oh, for sure. Got read the right act from their captain, and Daly Cherry Evans. They tried it. They've come up trumps, and now it's a chance to answer back for this Manley side. Well, last time the Warriors... Made an error in this end of the field. The Sea Eagles scored right at the start of the game. Let's see if they can do it again. Olakawatu, good hands, his sub. And sub is going to score. Well, he's got acres and of speed, Jason Saab, and Manly wastes no time in striking back. Oh, that's beat Saab. You can't give him room. They knew what they were doing. They kicked it out. Come through this side here as Arthur's here. Just have a look at the late shot coming in here. Close. Maybe he's going to be fine. He's already in motion. But the room and Saab and also that man, Daly Cherry Evans. A wonderful captain, wonderful playmaker. Looped around to get himself to put Saab in as the extra man. And he takes one for his team, honey. Oh, it's a beautifully worked try, isn't it? You can see the one in play, quite an expansive game. And Jason Saab scored five tries in his previous three games against the Warriors. So no doubt he was going to get on the board for his team tonight. So beautifully executed. So Saab goes over to score the try. Beautifully executed. Great hands from Cherry Evans. He took a shot there from Marcelo Montoya. Jason Saab over for his eighth try this season. Got a tough conversion attempt for him. <laughs> the score remains 16 points to 10. Five tries in the first 20 minutes. Certainly been an exciting game here at Daniel Anderson Stadium. Hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks. Yeah, it was a wonderful play. Doesn't need much room at all. We've seen that, so we've seen it all year. We know he's an athletic freak on the wing and he can score yeah. with absolute ease. So listen, for both of these sides, whoever has the ball is going to be the key playmaker. So I tell you what, both teams can attack with such ease. Well, we hope Daniel Anderson is enjoying the game, bringing back a lot of memories for him. And of course, all games, of course, will be enjoyed by him, I'm sure, and his family this weekend. Jason Saab. Jackson move! Out in here and hold. hold. Try scorer, Cherry Evans, into dummy half. Now it's Olakawatu again. Josh Schuster, when will he get his chance? Drop back to the interchange. And they're playing exciting, aren't they? Not frightened to shift the ball to Tui Lungi. They've got great ball carriers. Simply. Well, he went for the offload and he lost it to Cherry Evans. Once again, it comes down to risk versus reward. They've just done well in scoring a try. Be good to complete after you score a try. But now, once again, hot on attack is the Warriors. Harris with the set restart. So play the ball too. Walker puts Dwayne Jackson. Urgency into the Warriors. Second play of the set. For more Blake. 
Wagner gives his old team being kept pretty quiet so far. Metcalf, he's threatened. He's looked dangerous again. Very fast. Acceleration's on. That's Walker. Again, a good shot ball to Harris. Inside the 10 he goes. Egan. Now Johnson. You've caught it back on the inside line. Jake and Sean, get up! Hold on, Glenn! Harris uses a decoy. Walker, short ball, beautifully oh, taken oh, by oh, Fenor oh, Blake. Oh. Last play now for the Warriors. Where's Johnson? It's a kick from Egan, Ricochet. And it's going to be a line dropout. Not much Ruben Garrett could do with that one. Well, next best thing from a try is a back-to-back -back set. Plenty of manly players in the picture to try and defuse that kick. Well, it wasn't enough to get out of that in goal. Wade Egan that time threw in that ball through. Even Garrick almost got out. One of the board brothers there. Will be missing his other one, and Jared Tavanga couldn't make this game through a hamstring. He was a late withdrawal, wasn't he? Short kickoff coming from Cherry Evans. It's a very good run, but it looks like that might have gone forward. Oh, he's ruled it backwards off the Warriors. Well, we've seen how successful the Warriors have been with that through the year. This time, Manly doing it. Been unconventional. They've been trying a few things. They admire what they're doing. Harper with the next carry. Now, Kippy. Simply takes a seat on the bench. Bullymore is out there now. Now, Jake Trebojevic takes the next carry. Bullymore wearing 17 for the Sea Eagles, former Broncos player. Arthur takes the carry, takes the tackle. As always, looks threatening. Last play now for Manley. And there goes the kick from Cherry Evans. Got a bit of spiral and spin on that one. Nicely taken by Marcelo Montoya. Gone a bit try quiet on the try scoring front Montoya. All the tries coming on the other wing at the moment. Here's another penalty. Well, that's going to help his side. Penalty come out of their own end. Manly really has been the undoing of the good work. Really do have to blame himself for being very good with the ball. They've been giving away penalties and handing over possession cheaply. Which helps the Warriors come out of their end. They can build pressure and have their ball for sustained periods of time. The scoreboard will look a little bit different. Three tries to two. It is. Hope you're enjoying this game, folks. The Warriors can't lock up a top four spot just yet, even if they get a win here tonight, thanks to the Sharks beating the Cowboys last night. Walker, Johnson on the left-hand side of the field this time. Nice variety by the Warriors attack. And the set restart. The Warriors getting a lot of ball, and they're completing at 87% in the game so far. Manly at just 70. Walker plays it for North Blake, Johnson. Marata Nukore. Down Lewis. towards the 30. Oh, Lovely wide pass from Egan. Johnson. This is Metcalf. Lovely pass, Montoya. Montoya. Tries to drive through. Brilliant offload. And Metcalf's over for another try. Gee, the Warriors attack is humming in this game. Well, we know the Warriors love scoring most of their points from the middle of the field. And when Dylan Martinez, Elizniak, isn't hogging the ball on the right side, they get some shape out their left. Some wonderful work. Sean Johnson is normally the alpha in terms of halves. It was Metcalf who got the chance. He came down the left. Beautiful play out the back. Sean just offloaded. Little change of pace. Pays on the inside shoulder, puts out the back. But the key here is he stays alive. Montoya, great words, keep that ball alive. And he scores. Beautifully executed again, honey, wasn't it? And Montoya, give him a rat. Oh, sure was, and so good to see the halves combined together out on that left fringe. And Montoya still had a lot of work to do there. And great support work from Luke Metcalf. Pushed the score up for the Warriors in this first half. The social media superstar. Now, there is a question over this try, actually. 
Warriors and make sure there's no obstruction on the way through. Jackson Ford is the player under question here. Just looking at the run of Jackson Ford. Jackson Ford makes contact on Daly Cherry Evans, which denies him the opportunity to place pressure on Luke Metcalf. We have a decision. Jerry's talking, we can't hear him. And the try's going to be scrubbed out due to that contact. Well, he's running the correct line on the inside shoulder. That is the fact that he actually made contact. So he's run front on at him, OK? He's got to go. He can't run front on and make contact, OK? Sure, he's, he's made the decision to stop there. Yeah. He had plenty I'll of take your point go. there, but they've reviewed it, mate. That's one of the seen it, OK? <laughs> yep. So that's the first penalty the Warriors have conceded in the game. You see him running an inside shoulder. But it's the fact that Daly Cherry Evans actually... Made contact. Now, was it Jackson Ford going to him and initiating, or was it Daly Tree and Evans making the wrong decision? Regardless, the referee is. See what they think is the score. <laughs> you still can't be friends if you go for different sides. I love it. Exactly. Well, that's a very good question you posed just before about Daly Cherry Evans. The intelligent players, they can get away with things, can't they? That was well done. Aaron Woods is out there now. The veteran player, as we see Garrick into the line. Look how I do again. Chances go! Harper at dummy half. Fourteen minutes to play until half time. Now Bullimore. 25 metres out. Again, the Seagulls looking to capitalise off this penalty. Tomojevic. This is Arthur. No inside gap there with well, that one. Easily sealed off by Fenua Blake and Yukori. Bully Moore is going to set it up. 10 metres out for the last play. Cherry Evans back on the inside. It's still there. Speculator through Garrick. He's claiming the try, Ruben Garrick. Well, we know he's got some pace, Ruben Garrick. Manly almost making something from nothing. They may well, well have made it. Well, that's the... OK, right up. The form they've been in all night. Been trying things. Let's go forward. Jake Trebovic. Jake Trebovic attempts to offload the ball which direction it goes. Ball goes back from Jake Trevojevic. It's it is then towed through. Just need to check the onside. Yeah. Ruben Garrick kicks the ball through. Now looking to determine if there's a grounding. It looks to me, he missed that ball. Where the chance Nickel Clockstar gets to the ball before Ruben Garrick. Oh, this is a very tight call. Oh, I'm not going to call this one. Just looking for the best angle that is not distorted. I question whether he even got his hand to the ball, Ruben Garrick. He would have been first if he applied pressure. That looks like Chance Nicol Crookstar's hand to me. The foot's obscuring it, isn't it? The boot. Chance Nickel clock start grounds the ball first. Yeah. We have a decision. I think Ruben Garrick actually misses the ball and Chance is the one who got a hand to it. Well, it must be said too that that was ruled initially no try. 
So there would have needed to have been compelling evidence to overturn the original yeah, I think decision. That's a difference. It wasn't conclusive. Couldn't tell. Just shows you how deadly this manly side is. So Warriors got the line dropped out. Johnson going short, is he? You betcha. Got it, so the Warriors survive. What a piece for short dropouts. Short dropouts are incredible, aren't they? It's a real evolution in the game this season, Monty. Sure is, and it's 1-1 one, one now with the score of short dropouts. Manly got one. Warriors in. They look like they were going to defend it well. They all pushed up from the outside. Just the hand of Poppy got up nice and high. Walker. Say that short dropout tactic this season for the Warriors has been executed fantastically. Well, those kicks from Sean Johnson have been pretty on the money every single time. Now, for Noah Blake, here's the offload. This is the target, though, unfortunately, for the Warriors. Now, Harper is going to scrag chance to put stuff. Real go on Morgan Harper. Good to see him back in the Manly team. Oh, he comes out of that one, though, a bit worse for wear. Straight down, Garrick Strope was that kick. Metcalf up making the tackle, getting some good support too. Yeah, Harper struggling with like a, like a shin. Knock on the shin perhaps is Saab, and there's a penalty. He's going to have the cause. Maybe a knock on the front of the shin there for... Walking Harper, so penalty. Manly back into the Warriors half. Wait till he tucks it. Wait! Josh Schuster out there now in the sixth jersey. And yep, he's playing in the back row. He's on this left edge. As you see Croker. Bullymore. The Schuster has played a number of games at 5 8 this season for Manly after initially missing the start of the season. This is his 15th appearance. All of the games. Here's Saab. Saab has got that speed again. Makes it look so easy as he slides in for a second try. It's like he just stops time and everyone slows up and stays stationary. He keeps moving and at pace. Saab's been brilliant tonight. Doesn't need much room to move. You see Manley coming down the short side. Once again off Daly Cherry Evans in and away. Ruben Garrick takes him right up to the line, draws in Montoya, and then Saab is away. Absolute pace, Honey hitting me, Smiler. Oh, the mastermind in Daly Cherry Evans. He's just pulling all the strings out on that right fringe. Links up with Ruben Garrick there, and Saab, he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? For him, that's seven tries and four games against the Warriors. Well, they have absorbed this pressure from the Warriors beautifully. 16 to 6 was the score. They've come back with two tries to Jason Saab. Beautifully executed again. Arthur involved. And Cherry Evans created just enough space there for Ruben Garrick. Arthur's been good. He really has. He scored a try today and he's had his hand amongst a couple others. Defensively, he's been up there in the face of the Warriors. That time he goes deep in the line, plays back to Daly Cherry Evans, and he does the rest. Saab. What an athlete. Another tough, tough uh, conversion attempt here for Ruben Garrick. Similar spot, isn't it? Oh, exactly the same. Let's see if he's learned it. Yes, he has. And look at that, it's 16 all. Game on here at Daniel Anderson Stadium. With 10 minutes to play until halftime at 16 all. Daly Cherry Evans as well, getting in and around a couple of players. Are you going to stay here all night? Having a bit of joy on that right edge. Well, Daniel Anderson Stadium, of course, a few other things about Daniel. He, of course, uh, talked about his coaching career, but you'll know, having been coached by Anderson, that he was really in, in tune with the media back in those days too. He did a lot of 
engagement with the media, mic'd up, he was, he was mic'd up during a training session, invited the media to touch rugby games as well. Why didn't you play any of those, mate? Oh, not me, mate, but I tell you what, he, he, he was, he knew that the relationship between the media and the teams and the, the club were important and he tried to establish those early on, well before his time, and I think that's the first time Sky had that type of relationship. Indeed, and Sky really benefited from that relationship with Daniel Anderson back in the day. Here's Manley. Aaron Woods. Real trooper, hasn't he? Aaron Woods, 265 NRL game, still going strong. Moore over the halfway line. Manley rolling forward nicely here. He's been living up to his name, Bullymore. He's really bullied the side in the middle of the park. He has. Cherry Evans with that kick. Couldn't get set there for a, for a bomb. So he kept the trajectory flatter that time as we see Nickel Pooks start. Oh, the football. Great chase from Manley. Plenty. I'll see he goes down that end. The line's bit again. It's great. Put a stop on Dallin. They know how great he is at setting, starting these sets off. Oh, he's slow to get up. Not happy, Dallin. Twist to that right knee. We'll see if we can pick anything up here. See the grimace on his face? Not really obvious in terms of what happened. Couldn't see a twist. It wasn't a collision. Not a hematoma. Checking the stability of his knee now. I can tell you the tackle has been cleared for any foul play. Hopefully he can run it off. Seemed to have happened there just as he fell to the ground. Play on is the call. Dylan Walker. Martin is Lesniak will run it off. Dylan Walker late, played 71 minutes last week. Ran for well over 200 metres. That's a good offload. Walker, Metcalf. That's Jackson Ford, in fact. Pompey. Oh, almost a dodgy play the ball. That might have been pulled up in a lower grade as we see Johnson kicking. It's going to find the line. So Manley had a chance to bring the ball out on the 10 metre line. Well, it's a shame that ball didn't stay in. Dallin was chasing hard, looked like he had the pace on the Manley coming across as well. Manley really had got off the line well. They're getting in the face of the Warriors. Defensively very strong. Causing that pressure. We we'll see a bit of return serve now. Black and grey up. To Amalo Vainga. 12 metres out from his own line. These are important. Metres for Manley as Kola takes the next play. I get to their kick here, Manley. They won't want to concede another try before half time. Ola Ka'atu, it is. Beats to the human. Different sort of beast with this man, Jabojevic. He's a real worker up the middle, is he? Croker thinking of the kick there inside the 40. Pompey just puts it down. Well, it's a shame. If you're a Warriors supporter, yeah, what do you want it? look like once again, Mellon can have come down that right. They've had a lot of joy down there. Snipes down the short side. Ooh. Lost his footing, otherwise I thought he would have been away. Lost his balance there. Got the shot clock, 15 seconds. <laughs> he knows what could have been. Get in, chance. Lock it in. Ball. Break. Now the Warriors have to defend these last five minutes. Garrick. Oh. Moore again. Been busy since he's been on, hasn't he? Seventh carry for him. Been very much a bully himself from the middle of the park. Service from Croker's been excellent. There's a little short ball, well tackled there. 
by Berry. That was a good shot there on Kohler. Bullymore again. Manly have settled nicely into this game now, haven't they? Proker. Arthur with the kick on the fifth tackle. That's a well-weighted kick. And that's very clever from Charles Nickel Pookstar. Oh, the calmness. Just let it go, the patience. You can hear the footstep from the Manly players beating down. The right call really did help us side coming out. Johnson goes into dummy half. Now Berry with a, a good solid run there from Berry. Johnson. And now Montoya next man up. And his tackling's been good in the game, Monty. It has been of late too because the Warriors aren't going up with their numbers. They're not going up with the same sort of shape. And if you go up with different shape and foils outside you defensively, it's hard to see who's got the ball at the moment. Single carriers. Johnson short. They're loading up. Flat to the line. Good tackle there by Schuster for the Sea Eagles. Now for North Blake. Metcalf back on the inside goes for There are plenty of, though, of Manly jerseys there, though. Last tackle, Jake! To me! So the kick's coming 30 metres out for Johnson. Very chasing through here. And nicely gathered there by Ray Buyamalo Vainga. Malo Vainga, very good take. Gets up nice and high above the pack with the ease. He comes down. Looks safe and assured. That's for sure. They'll find their way out of their own end. Penalty coming here for the Warrior, for the Manly Sea Eagles, rather. That's going to help the cause, isn't it? The piggyback coming out of your own end. Daly Cherry Evans, he knows what to do. Finds touch. Starts marshalling his troops. It's a great touch finder too for Manly. Coming to the Warriors half again. And now it is Woods once more. Short side attack here for Manly. Now was that played out by that Warriors player? It is. So Dui Amalo Vainga picks it up. Croker. Woods with the next carry. Wonderful late opportunity here for Manley. To perhaps pinch the lead at half time. Arthur gives it to Cherry Evans. They're attacking on that right flank again. Subs picked it up and strolls in untouched. It's a hat trick in the first half for Jason Saab. Boy, well, smiling. I think he's a little bit embarrassed of how easy that was. The ball, as often as we see when it goes to ground, the bounce is hard to detect where it's going. Arthur, who's been good, goes deep into the line again, but it's a ball from Cherry Evans. And if there was a touch there at all. At that time, it bounced up into the hands of Saab. Three in the very first 40 minutes. Not looking good. Be a Warriors supporter there, honey, hitting me smiler. Well, every time they've gone down, that right edge, yeah. They've had success with it. They're looking at Morgan Harper's contact on Adam Pompey. The crowd's not happy with it. But Saab, once again, makes it look really easy. Well, they're just going to have a look at... There's a fingernail on it from Olakauatu. The try's not confirmed just yet. Looks like it's just drifted forward a touch as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hard to tell. See okay. here. Oh, oh it's a hit his thumb. Has it hit his thumb there? I think the way the ball moved. I think the way the ball moved and changed flight. Could be a little bit of a touch. We're all in a holding pattern at the moment. The try is still not being confirmed. Well, there's all smiles before. Jason Saab. Will he get that hat trick? Danny Cherry Evans here. Watch the way the ball is floating through the air. Does it change? 
to her fingertip there. It looks like it is because the, the way the ball is actually moving changes its rotation. Time on, well, try confirmed. Monty, the try is confirmed. And overall, no touch by Olakawatu. Well, there we are. Well, when you think about how important it is for this manly side going into the break, it is huge. Not so long ago, they were down by six, found themselves chasing the game. Now they go into the sheds with a handy little lead. Well done, Manly. Well, they were actually down by 10 at one point, Monty, so they've come back nicely here. And there is a bit of salt rubbed into the wound by Ruben Garrick. 16 unanswered points. Great comeback by Manley in this first half. It's 22 to 16. You ready for an early? Yeah, if you're ready for an early kick here or something. Well, that's the call that's been made. And the fans don't like it, do they? Spoiler men aren't happy. Not happy. Well, Coach Andrew Webster won't be happy, too, that this team has blown a 10-point lead in this first half. So, plenty of work for them to do. And Saab almost makes a complete hash of that in the final seconds of this first half. Wakawatu. Roka gives it to Cherry Evans. And that will seal it off for the first half. Well, there's been a lot of tries in this game. Seven in the first half, four to Manly. Three of them to Jason Saab here. He's got the last three tries in this game. Wonderful comeback by Manly in the latter half of that first half. And they lead at halftime, 22 points to 16. Guys to empty out. Yeah, fresh legs for Surinan, Lusick, and Josh Curran in the second half. There's the kickoff from Pompey. And here's the hat trick hero for Manly in the first half with the first touch. Comes Olakawa to the Tongan International. The boot against the Kiwis on this ground. Mid last year, and here they are playing some football early, spreading it out to Cola. Cola with the pace, almost through. Oh, it's like the, the pace in and away, and Rockaberry just got him in the end. Sean was there. Remember, he's an ex sprint champion. As we see Woods settle it down for the fourth tackle. Been good off the bench, Aaron Woods, hasn't he? Back to his old form. Cherry Evans again. And then Ulakar to back on the inside. Ruck speed is good again. Very good first set here from Manley. This is the last play, though. Garrick did well to go to plan B there for Cherry Evans. Now, Nickel Cook start with the ball for the Warriors. Well, they're just playing free, Manley. Inventive, having fun, and just throwing all caution to the wind. Led by that man, Daly Cherry Evans. The fence, the boot as well. Very complete so far. Watanese Alistiak. Hold Aaron. Oh. 32 metres out, Egan rolls it to Harris. Harris taken five metres short of the halfway line. Walker, now Metcalf. Poppy runs at the defence. Half has got him wrapped up. Metcalf slots into dummy half, now Johnson with the kick. Chasing through Berry and Watson, he's Lesniak again. And it's play on, taken there by Dui Imalo Vainga, and away goes. A good run from dummy half there by Arthur. He's been brilliant, he really has shown up everywhere, all parts of the field. Different ends as well, attack and defence. Very good for this Manly side. Scored the first try right at the start of the game, remember, Trebojevic. And the Warriors under pressure again as Manly not been shy on spreading it. Right from the start of the game, Garrick. They're not going to die wondering. Good tackle by Ford. He knows Harper out a dummy half. Cherry, that's a Cherry Evans. Again, the bounce is clever here. 
Still the last play. Trebojevic still there. Croker, in fact, Saab kicks it. Good at left football. And it's scrambled dead there by Montoya. All sorts of shenanigans going on there, but he's got to play to the whistle. Absolutely. They're just questioning whether they're going to put the challenge. Having the Manly player offside okay, on that kick. On field ruling is a goal line dropout. Warriors are chasing that, challenging that Ruben Garrick was offside and put pressure for them to force the ball dead. Uh, it was like playing. Ruben Garrick is required to have both feet behind the ball. The point it is kicked. He is in front at this point. Yeah, Ruben no, Garrick no. then applies pressure. The challenge is successful. Well, I think they're lucky. That is the letter of the law. That is correct. It was a good challenge. But Jesus Manly side have been looking dangerous. Well, they uh, are playing like a team that's playing for their season right now, aren't they? They are leaving it all out there, Monty. It's almost like they're already cemented in the eight and they're just playing with confidence and a little bit of arrogance. That's how good they are. Daly Chirin, Evans leading the charge, great feet. Monty, uh, that's a Fonty rather, so good at the line. Adam Fedor Blake. Johnson's been quiet in this game, Monty. Is he going to take ownership of this game? Maybe right now. As he feeds the ball in your court. No penalty coming, no set restart. Here goes Egan from dummy half. Good to see him running. Set restart this time. Harris. Johnson back on the inside goes Nickel Pookstar. Taken by his opposite number. Now the Warriors feel like they've got some momentum. Out of the open side, another set restart. There's a deliberate point from Manly. They really are trying to slow them down with this shape. Egan. Big wide pass to Johnson. There's the quick hands to Montoya. Montoya going for the corner. And he's thrown into touch. Opportunity goes bigging there. Well, you really have to applaud Manly and what they're doing. Defensively, they've been very good. They're sticking to their game plan. They really are trying to slow down the ruck speed. As a result, they're winning. Saab come a long way off this line. Look at that. The cover coming across. So many Manly men in the picture. Who's going to do it tough trying to get in from that angle? Yeah, Harper. Well, they have family and friends here. Time off. Aaron, come on. Well, that's an amazing oh, stat right there, isn't it? That's not. And history doesn't bode well for the Warriors in the second half. And with that opportunity going begging, they had set restarts there back to back, and now they can see the penalty. Square. They're talking about game smarts. I think there's many too many more smarter than that man. Daddy Cherry Evans gets inside a penalty. Wonderful work. Getting excellent distance from those penalties as well. That's the fifth one Manly have got in the game. Croker. Now Woods. Woods runs at the defense. Good run again by Aaron Woods. He's averaging 10 metres of carry so far. There's Arthur. Switches it to Garrick. And that's gone forward there off Schuster. Put that one down to the pressure of Dallin. Came off his edge. Once again, they found the numbers. Dallin was quick enough to come in. On to Schuster. He tried to use his skill set to yeah. pass the ball on. That time going forward. Josh Schuster playing back on the edge. Had a real impact when he debuted there. The last couple of seasons for Manly. Back in 2020 against the Tigers, round 17. When he came in, everyone was expecting a big future for him. Manly's looking dangerous all over the park. Either edges. Walker makes a poke through the middle. Of course, Dylan Walker playing against his old team as well. Just like Adam Van Blake. He's got the ball in his hands right now. Jump, clear him. Hold here, hold. 
Johnson. Caught it back on the inside run. Oh, like it from the Warriors. And a little bit better. This is more like the form we saw from them in the first half. Johnson wrapped up. Very aggressive defence from Malik. You see the outside coming in. A long way in. Saab working overtime. Metcalf with the kick. Back off a Warriors player, but Jack Trebojevic is going to tidy it up. And they really are doing a good defensive number on the Warriors, slowing them down in the ruck. The outside's coming a long way in, trying to put pressure on them. Jackson, let him up! Give space! Hold. Saab, Jerry Evans is having another big impact on this game. Now Morgan Harper trying to fight to get to his feet. Beautiful play by Croker. And Saab almost in space there again. Surrenders in the tackle. Uilangi at dummy half. And now here's Ruben Garrett taking a carry. He's run for 80 metres. Back inside the 40 is Cherry Evans. Oh, the bounce is very awkward there, and Chance Nickel Clubstar. Oh my goodness, that was very close. I thought he thread the needle there brilliantly between two players. Chance was there to save the day. Martinez Zalesniak. Line speed from Manly, superb. And they're not missing tackles either, Monty. That's the other thing. Berry takes a tough carry. Well, the winning collisions and getting the numbers in there as well. They slow it down, as you see there. So I think he quite had the right then. Nickel Pukstar. Coming up to 100 metres. Fenor Blake leading the metres for the Warriors in this game. Passing the ball this time. Metcalf, good chase there by Harper. Aggressive outside men again. Johnson with the kick. Nicely taken by Imalo Vainga. That's a loose carry. Josh Curran up there making an instant impact. Well, I've seen it time and time again. Josh Curran, he comes on, he's electric, he wants to contribute, have that energy shown. You see that. Numbers, they lift him up, they're trying to take him out. We'll come back, Josh Curran in amongst them. That's the energy you need. It's actually Rocco Berry who was the main instigator there, honey, wasn't he? I sure was, and I'll tell you what, Anthony Seabolt has once again given Manly the licence to play unpredictable football. That's exactly what we're doing. You saw them play a similar style against the Panthers last week. They threw the ball around, and it seems to be working for them tonight. Again, great op option here for the Warriors. They're inside the 20 with a full set. Couldn't execute the last time. Remember Montoya thrown into touch by Morgan Harper. Walker! Short ball to Fenor Blake. Back to Walker. Another set restart for the Warriors. Gee, they're really racking them up in this game. Deliberately slowing them down again. Johnson! Beautifully taken by Curran! Did he get it down, though? No, I don't think he did. But I tell you what, the catch in traffic, the cause, no try, believes it's held up. But the catch in traffic from Josh Curran initially. Look at this, right between two defenders. Okay, just looking to determine whether Josh Curran takes possession cleanly. Wonderful catch. Spins out of collision. Based on the available angles, we will support the decision that Josh Curran has caught the ball cleanly. Now looking at grounding. Ball is up at this point. Oh, everyone is waiting. With Josh Curran back on the 10 metre line ready to play the ball. So everyone on the field believes and there's no try. Up. We have a decision. So we get there. Yeah. Get there eventually. So four tackles left in the set. 
Tackle two. Hold, go to. Johnson. Walker. Wrestled to the ground by Dui Lange. Again, threatening close to the line. Looking for another try, Adam Fedor Black. He'd love one against Manly. Johnson, what about the hands? What an is a listener! Another one. It's a hat trick for Dallin. Well, Tao can do, he can do just as well. It's a hat trick for that man, Dallin Watten is a listener. When they needed it most. Been under the pressure, under the pump, merely a be superb. Their chance to come back and close the deficit. Sean Johnson goes right to the line. Chance, Nicol Klukster. Some wonderful work to avoid the defender, pass that ball on. And a try in the corner for Dallin. He's so good at getting that ball down, honey. Oh, he's so hard to handle, isn't he? Look practically makes them untouchable, but also the work from Charles Nickel Klukstar. The pass there, look how good that is. Yeah, it's brilliant. Only a second with the ball. So this Dallin Watani Zalesniak. Well, well, well. There he is on top of the try scorers list, equal with Alex Johnston. Second hat trick he's got this season. You think back to that Dragons game. In round 17, he got four in that game. Well, just his birthday yesterday, he celebrates that with a hat trick today. A wonderful form, 21, as we mentioned before. Fusitua, Mallet, the joint leaders for 23 in the history of the highest try scorers in the club. Important kick here for Adam Pompey. a really good pressure kick great for his confidence too 22 all one more look at this beautifully played by chance nickel cookstar he still had some work to do Reuben garrett coming across been good tonight not good enough on that occasion to stop dallin from scoring his hat trick try number 21 First points of the second half. Montoya. Here goes Egan. And it's a fairly smart play from Wade Egan. He knew they weren't back, Monty. Well, he knew. Jake was caught out by the referee, Todd Smith, as well. Wade Egan had to show him twice really has become one of the top tier hookers in the competition. Great rugby league IQ there from Egan. Johnson. Now Walker. And the Warriors got a full set inside. Manley's half again. Harris, good short ball this time. It's Sirenin out there now. Wearing 16 for the Warriors, but playing in the back row, unlike dummy half last week. Harris, here's Johnson, plays at football. Nickel clock start. Berry just couldn't quite get it to Dallin that time. But this is a result of the quick play of the balls. Shape is nice. Sure is. Harris, good hands. Just had to take the tackle this time. 20 metres out, two tackles left, Johnson. Standing very flex, and Pompey, they came up on him, super fast, Saab. Well defended by Jason Saab there, last play now. It's Johnson. Option, and it bounces up. Couldn't have bounced up any better for Ray Dui Amalo Vainga. Vainga did well. Right spot all the time as they bring it out of their own end. Defence getting... Up, trying to be aggressive, trying to match the same aggression that this Manly side has in defence. Maris Sinks Jr. is to Amalo Vainga. Love playing on this ground against the Warriors. Garrick, Arthur, and now Trebojevic. Jerry Evans again, they're not shy on running it. Harper almost loses it. A 
Oh, I wasn't expecting it there, Monty. Boy got mean. Brilliant hands from Harper. Oh, big chart going out here at Daniel Anderson Stadium. Cherry Evans. Only 25 made, metres made in that set. Now look at Dallin. Dallin winding up. <laughs> no thought of self-preservation. Oh, we haven't seen him off the back fence for a while. There's Nickel Kutzta. It's the rest from Manly. Do a fine job. They really do slow it down. They've really done well in that area of the game. A little error has been made by the Warriors. Again, it is Montoya this time. They kept the fantastic. There is going to be a challenge, though. We have a knock on contact. Warriors challenging. Correct. Looking to determine whether Marcelo Montoya loses the ball or it's stripped by Daly Cherry Evans. Daly Cherry Evans is just attempting to affect the tackle. The ball is knocked on by Marcelo Montoya. The challenge is unsuccessful. Interesting one, that one. Okay, working in the middle, challenge It would always look like a loose carry, didn't it? It's yep. strange to see the Warriors challenging that one. But once again, your halfback delivering with the ball and without getting up. You know, he's a, he's a big halfback. He's not your normal sort of build for a halfback. Mention how smart he's been tonight. Last game here on Mount Smart, Daniel Anderson Stadium today. It's that golden point win by the Warriors against the Raiders. 21 points to 20. That one is tight, this one's tight too with just under 25 to go. Holy Moore. Four for four, Sipley is back out there now for Manly. He is a massive human just like his brother. Here is Garrick. Good run by Ruben Garrick. Excellent leg drive. Good shift put out there by Aaron Woods as well. Ruka Atu. Trebojevic. Back on the inside comes Tuilangi. Last play now for the Sea Eagles. He goes that little chip. Where's that one? It's been ruled a knock on by the Warriors, and of course, they don't have a challenge. That's the importance of the challenge and getting it right. Being sure that time Dallin gets up nice and high. Looks like he just grazed his left arm on the way down. So Manly got a scrum. 10 metres out. This is a big chance for them to retake the lead. Well, centre field as well. You know the speed that they got on the edge, they go left. Kola just runs at the defence. Well handled by Johnson. And Rocco Berry, good defence there. Broker. Sipley. Sipley drives forward. Good run. Broker again. That's Arthur. Jerry Evans, what can he cook up? Oh, here's the big lad. Oh, go up two. Very good defence by the Warriors to keep him out. Oh, the power from Hamoli. Olokuatu was strong. Took a number of players with him. It was all on to score a try. Couldn't stop him, so he just had to get underneath the ball, and they did. Dwojevic. Short pass to Sipley, offload there to Jake Arthur. Stolen by Watanese Zelensniak. Now oh, Garrick risks a penalty there, but no one, no penalty coming there. Watanese Zelensniak almost getting one there. Nickel from star. What an intercept though from him. What's oh, a big play. Defensively coming up from a mistake that he had with the high ball going to ground. Manly side has been potent that time. Warriors put a stop to it. Good put star again. Now Johnson short ball to Josh Curran. Johnson again. 
Walker. Last tackle, Jake. Last play now for the Warriors. Jake, Jake. Egan looking for that penalty again, and it's not coming. I thought the referee caught him off that time, but yet when he ran into him, Jake just held his ground. Go, no it's disappointing for the Warriors. But Egan looks mystified as we see Harper restart the next set. Sean Kepi back out there now for Manly. Saab playing it on the 30. Trebojevic. Flat pass to Sipley. And there Rocco is the knock on. Rocco Perry's having a very good game. We've already mentioned his name a few times tonight, defensively being sound. I think they're going to challenge it this time. On field ruling, knock on Manly, saying it's gone backwards. It's a big shot. Rocco Berry coming in on Arthurs. This could be a good challenge by Manly. Oh, hang on, hang on. I was wondering, Trebojevic has knocked it on here. Jared Sutton in the bunker tonight. It's out of my hands. Jacob Arthur loses the ball backwards. Zenry gathered by Jake Trebojevic and a tackle is effective. The challenge is successful, it's tackle three. That's the importance of having a, cha a challenge up your sleeve. Once again, Manly using it so well. Does relieve the pressure. I just wondered if Trebojevic knocked it on when regathering it. Just rolled forward a bit, didn't it? As we see Sipley. With the next carry for the Sea Eagles. Broker. Is it to Sean Kepi? Six hit ups in his first stint for 43 metres. As we see Cherry Evans end the set. Montoya. 20 minutes to go here at Daniel Anderson Stadium. All locked up between the Warriors and the Sea Eagles. Sean on the ball. Start. Now Berry. Strong carry. Good oh, game, isn't he, Rocco Berry? We touched on that just before. And here goes Egan. Walker inside ball. Well done by Simply together. Nickel Cookstar. Johnson with the kick. Berry chasing through. And nicely gathered by Garrick, but the Josh Warriors Lee have the Seagulls pinned inside their 10 to start the set. When they do get a bit of ruck speed, the Warriors, their shape is a lot better. They have a bit more joy. I'll tell you what, Manly hasn't allowed them that fortune to do so. Really have controlled the speed of the ruck defensively, especially. Harper. Jerry Evans. Saab, well, this game is for the taking for both of these two teams in this last 20 minutes. You wouldn't pick a winner at the moment. Ruck speed is very good by Manny. Now, that's Cherry Evans inside the 40. Inside the 40, but he hasn't got the angle on it for a 40-20. He was definitely going for it, Cherry Evans. He's had two 40-20s this season. Just the presence of Mike, knowing what he needs to do to get a side ahead. Let's have a look at this intercept again by Dallin Watani Zalesniak. He did brilliantly to make something from virtually nothing here. It was. Put a stop to a very good manly side that was running rampant with the ball. In the thread all over the park on each edge through the middle. There he is, 147 metres, three tries in the game. He's having another cracker. There's Dallin. Looks like Egan is about to re come off the field here. Off, 
So something's happened to Egan here. He doesn't look happy. Pretty over. And a really tough, rough season, hasn't he, Wade Egan? Yeah, the way he throws himself around with the ball without playing in the middle. The fresh legs there and Freddie Lusser going on now. And I love the opportunity. Well, Lusser gets his first game for some time out there for the Warriors. Lusick here's Jackson Ford. Brilliant defence. Very good for his side. Now for Nor Blake. 120 metres from 15 carries. So far in the game. Walker. Johnson, short ball, love that option. Curran hit the line nicely, hit the pass perfectly there. But again, well defended by Manley. He's appealing for another set restart there. Now Metcalf. He's getting an ankle tap by the uh, hand there of Daly Cherry Evans. Johnson again. The Warriors not in field position there to really attack. And as we see, Tua Imalo Vainga. Arthur at dummy half. Here's Kohler. Luxury of these outside backs, you can score tries. Oh, great speed. Also able to carry in yardage as well. Here's Arthur. Nice tackle by Johnson. Saw too fast, Glenn. Yeah. Right speed. Right speed's excellent. Gets the Seagulls out of trouble as simply. Gets his old team. Remember, two games for the Warriors way back in 2016. There goes the kick from Evan, uh, Cherry Evans. And it's taken by Montoya. So here we are. Another set starting pretty much in the same spot. It's the last one for the Warriors. Sure, get out. Oh, who's going to bust this game open with 17 to play? Lusick. Martinez Lesniak. Another penalty coming for the Warriors, and that's much needed for the home team. That's going to help. Manly really have been getting up their line, getting in the face, really causing pressure for this Warriors side. Johnson. Touch fighter, so plenty for the brains trust for the Warriors to think about as we approach the stretch of this game. The possession status evened up in the second half. So to the run meters, nothing in it. Stats are very even. The completion rate may be just the only big difference between the two teams. 83% for the Warriors, 76 for Manly. Now Walker, Johnson, a good quick start, and Berry, Berry, Berry. Well, that lets pressure off. They've had some joy with the shape on the right. Chance just one pump too many. Rocco Berry catches it with a bit of pressure on himself. Ball goes to the ground. to play. Still locked up. Just one try in the second half to Dallin Watani Zalesniak. Heads in. Josh Chance. 22 to 16 it was at half time so Manly have not scored in the second half. But that's jinxed them. Okay, Freddie. This is Kola. On his 20. Duaimalo Vainga. Trebojevic. Oh, well, Kawatu almost getting through. Animal. Croker gives it to Trebojevic. Here's Kepi. He's on the halfway. Honey hit him. He's smiling. Got an update on Wade Egan. Yeah, Wade Egan will take a seat on the bench here. He's had some spray put on his hamstring. Looks like a mild hamstring injury. Still yet to confirm whether he'll come back out tonight. Sipley with the ball. So the Manny Seagulls looking to splinter this Warriors defence again. Ola Kawatu, he's pulled up his shorts and back in the action. What's the late offload? 
when your defensive line is retreating. They get caught, come back again. There goes Cherry Evans with the kick. Michael Cookstar absolutely smashed. As was Jackson Ford as well. And now Montoya, he's going nowhere fast. Oh, he's monster. Jack Dubovic, Kippy, over the top. Not in a good way. And Kippy immediately indicated Montoya was in trouble. That was good sportsmanship. I did well to hold on to the ball. I thought it was a head clash. Okay, thanks, mate. Head clash from Sean Kippy. There's the head clash right there. Montoya being assessed for an HIA here. Well, the NRL community is uniting, of course, with Daniel Anderson this week across the NRL and the NRLW. Anderson, of course, a Warriors coach, an Eels coach, suffered a catastrophic spinal cord injury late last year following a body surfing accident. A special online auction is underway at fanplus.com. And you can get signed and worn jerseys as well as other items that are up for grabs. The NRL is calling on fans to rally and support the great cause. Place your bid on the auction. Now or head to danielandersonfund.com.au to donate. And uh, Monty, I couldn't think of a, a better cause to donate to. Yeah, absolutely. The change in error of, of the club. Oh, he has that winning percentage, doesn't he? Of 55%. Amazing uh, winning percentage. Of course, uh, shaking him at the moment is Andrew Webster. From one red head to another. <laughs> Both men been brilliant. Both men have got away with the players. Help them to believe they can take on the world and, and play well. And sides really have transformed underneath those two coaches. The Webster's winning percentage, by the way, folks, 61 percent at the Warriors. Good kick there by Johnson. Nicely gathered by Garrick. That was a good take. And now Saab. Always exciting when he gets a bit of space. And the palm off as well. It's one of the things to try and keep up with them. But then when you finally get there, he's got a palm for you. Here is Harper. Great pass. And to Amalo Vainga. Nailed that run right there. Up the middle he went. Trebojevic, good front foot running ball for four for four. Simply. Oh, a set restart late in the count too. Manly got a roll on here. Jerry Evans. Garrett looking to create more uncertainty. Great tackle. He's lost it. He's lost it right there. Great tackle from Charles Nichols. Looks far. Well, he needed that. The side's been under the pump. Manly have been threatening every time they come down this end. Jerry, Captain Charles from Manly. Yes, on field ruling is a loose carry. Manly are challenging. I would like a loose carry, didn't it? What a tackle here from Charles Nickel. We're going to see if the ball is lost or whether it's stripped. Chan's nickel clock star rips the ball out with his right hand. The challenge is successful. Yes. Wow. Up the call here. Looks like he's going for the two as well. Oh, that's an interesting call to go for the two, isn't it? From a wide angle, Monty. Well, he backs himself. He's kicked there. From the sideline. Well, tonight, he's an accomplished goal kicker. They've been unconventional tonight, too, so why not? A stab at a kick or a penalty. The ball gets stripped from himself here, Ruben Garrick, and now he gets a chance to get back with two points and kick and be successful with this penalty. Ruben Garrett, three from four. 75% on the night. For the lead again. And his first two points. First points of the second half.
Dalawata needs a less neck, just gets back out into the field of play. That's a great carry too, gets nice and low. Pini and Manly defenders there. Look at that line speed from Manly. Berry makes five valuable metres for the Warriors. Lusick. Nickel Klipsner, bus tackles, good return of the football here by the Warriors. Walker runs under that one nicely. The player fast. Lusick. Metcalf now to Ford. Empty four tackles in the game for Jackson Ford. Lusick. Johnson. And that wasn't a bad set there by the Warriors, given the circumstances, Monty. Yep, Reuben Garrick backed himself, wasn't quite able to get that ball over the black dot. Still this side of, close to halfway, 35 metres out from their end. Arthur gives it to Tuilangi, 10 minutes to play. It's like finals atmosphere here at... Daniel Anderson Stadium with a full house in here. And now Tui Lange in trouble. Or is it all a Kawatu? It is a penalty to Manly. Put him in a dangerous position. Josh Wolfback. Jackson Fort's going to go and report for this too. Yeah, not much in that, Monty, by the look of it. Well, he's being smart. He got put in a position where he probably shouldn't have been. We mentioned Daly, Terry Evans, and how important it's been for his side that time. Hamuli, Olukawatu, he knew what to do as well. Jordan Kepi with the first carry. Orhu Harris back out there. Or Dylan Walker. Simply. What are they going to do here? Will they set it up for a field goal? It's a little bit too early. It is, isn't it? Here's Trebojevic. Tell you what, Cherry Evans is back in the pocket here. Monty. And they are going to have a crack at it here. Cherry Evans. And that's an unfortunate accident right there. Well, the referee hasn't ruled, he hasn't awarded a penalty. Oh, sorry, first. The Take penalty's it coming, surely. Oh, he's ruled Take a lost carry, he lost a lost ball there by Manley. Take it back first. Okay, now, Charles Nickel Brookstar, he comes across. Are you happy, does it? Okay. Well, great pressure there by yeah. Yukori and by Nickel Brookstar. And I don't think that's dangerous play because it's a bouncing ball, right? Yeah, I blew the whistle after the and ball. And Manly's lost it right there, Ruben Garrick. Okay. So, Daly. Now here's the explanation okay. coming. So, obviously, they charge the ball down. It's then a bouncing ball because it's a bouncing ball. Okay, so there's no mid-air tackle component. He's then landed on his back, so he hasn't been put into a dangerous position. He then lets go of the ball, so it's a knock-on. It's a scrum here to the Warriors, okay? Well, it's been one of those games, isn't it? really has. It's been a tough game. Both sides have been throwing their best at it. I mean, uh, some inventive plays, some plays that are a little bit unorthodox at times. I think one tie gets up and is about to get ahead. The other side comes straight back. Well, honey, hitting me, Smiler. We've got, what do we got here? About eight minutes to play, 22 all. Electric atmosphere down there? Oh, sure is. 24,112 people have flooded the stadium. And when they start chanting Warriors, it is deafening down here. Important set for the Warriors. Sure is. Eight minutes to play. Fenor Blake needs a big finish to this game. So it's a restart for the to the Warriors. Off that play, and here's Harris. Lusser continues that dummy half with Egan off the field. You caught it! You caught it! He's going for the try! Oh, yes! Well, 
You've seen him out in the centres for the Kiwis. He's no stranger to being out in the open and out on the edge. Sean Johnson, you said he's been quiet tonight. You've been waiting for... Kick again. There's six minutes to play. Get the Warriors six clear. And that is a big kick. Just that little bit of insurance for the Warriors. They're back where they need to be. And everyone's happy here in Auckland. Don't be surprised if you see a short kickoff here from Sea Eagles once again. Sean Johnson, Tolangi, bit on Sean Johnson. Picked that hole that he came out of. And the big man, Maratanua, caught it. Went the whole way. Something has to be wrong with Ruben Garrett. Couldn't even get out of second gear. Still limping in the background. No short. Yeah, let's see. And it's been recanted. Oh, hang on. Morgan Harper, the elbow to the head there. Away with that one. Tachi didn't do anything. Lasik with six to play. Harris. Get up! Manly hunting, looking for the shot. We've already seen a one on one strip as well. Oh, from Noah Blake. Gee whiz, you don't see that too often. And Manly, that might energise them for a big push here with five to play. What the scrum seemed to feel, we know they got brilliance. He had a look at the defenders. Jumped quite high too to get that ball. Now he's going to have to work hard. Manly side, threatened on either edge as well. What can they do from the scrum centre field? now this is their chance this is their chance 20 meters out here's Croker to Wojvich first receiver Bully Moore Johnson was up there to make the tackle Croker this is Arthur well, that's gone everywhere, and the referee says play on. Well, I wonder if Arthur... Oh, hang on, they're going back now. Accidental offside. Accidental, Accidental offside is the call. Yeah, foot is in front. Okay, scrum on the scrum line. Oh, but now they go to the line. Arthur puts boots of ball. Came off Pompey with the last one, and then obviously Jackson Fool was in front of him. So Manly once again, a little bit closer. The full back line out to the left as well. Oh, Manly full set now, 10 metres out. Four minutes to play. Arthur, there's Cherry Evans, and that come off Johnson. He had that off Johnson before he ruled it. Tell you what, they had a, a lot of men free out there on the left, Manly. 
shot clock on. All they had to do was get that ball out to men in space. There was a number yeah, of them. Sean from his touch days just gets that hand in there. The late, the late pass from Daly Cherry Evans and didn't leave his hands. And Sean calls one more set. So Garrick to feed the scrum. Cherry Evans. There is Willow. Carl R2. Loose carry. Loose carry. And the crowd cheers like the Warriors have scored another try. They've got them up on the Kawatu. We mentioned him as being a very strong ball carrier. He's disappointed. Been brilliant for his side tonight. It's not over yet. But he knows. As it's been back and forth, back and forth at that. Has put his side in. On the back foot, Jackson Ford over the top with Lusick as well. Well, honey, I see Marcelo Montoya's past his HIA is about to re reappear in the game. Come on, 10 right down to the last minute, but he has passed his HIA. Also, you got Wade Egan up on his feet. He's moving around fairly freely with that hamstring niggle. So, whether we see him back out there tonight? Well, that was probably not much point now with only three minutes to play. Harris. Oh, Amoli, he was hunting. <laughs> Shoulder of doom. Shoulder of doom, yes. There it is again, this time from Morgan Harper. And that's a big blow there for Manly. And a big win there for the Warriors. Well, Morgan Harper is trying to force the error, doing what his side needs right now, and that's the turnover position. For all the, the good Manly have done in this game, Monty, they haven't scored in the second half. Close on a number of occasions as we see Pompey take the first carry. Two minutes. Manly are probably going to have one, possibly two more chances in this game. For Noah Blake. Of course, the Warriors might get down into field goal position here. Harris, Johnson, you caught in the try scorer that put the Warriors back in front. Johnson, away goes Bailey Siren and up the middle. Lusick, here's for Noah Blake. Last play now. Johnson standing deep. He's motioning for a play up to the right edge. Whether we'll see that or not, or is it a field goal? It is. Johnson to Lysett. He just can't do anything wrong in 2023, Sean Johnson. Last part of the game, Sean really has stood up. Olukowatu Hamoli. He's not happy. A valiant effort from his side tonight. Been very good to watch. Throwing everything at it, trying to stay in the race for the, the eight. Toff Sipley, Tuilangi, many chasing. Sean Johnson once again able to get that over the black dot. Well, you've got to hand it to the Warriors again. Last time they were here on this ground, they... Played with great composure to win by a single point against the Raiders. He executed that try, gone down the field, kicked the field goal. Absolutely. A lot to play for this round. Old boys, as many, about 40 of them looking on, watching over as they wore the same jumper 20 years ago. And then Daniel Anderson. This round. Important game at Daniel Anderson Stadium for Daniel Anderson himself. Well, next game for the Warriors is the Dragons here next Friday night. No doubt there will be a full house again. One of the best games of the season for sure. It hasn't been easy for the home team, but here comes their sixth win in a row. First time they've completed half a dozen wins on the trot in 21 years. The Warriors get home.
29 to 22 over Manly.